Welcome guys. In this video we will learn how to attach any object to our character player. This is done by a few nodes. I hope that you enjoy it. Now if you already have a scene or a game template then you can skip. I will create a little scene but if you need help then watch my other beginner video. In this little scene I just had a ground with physics, a sunlight and some textures. I start my game and we will see a very simple little scene. For this video I prepared two animations from Mixamo and a sword object. We will import these in our game. If you already watched my video about character animations then you can skip. We will do exactly the same from the video but if you already have a character with animations then you can also skip. Here I am joining the two meshes together and also afterwards renaming it. After my character is imported I have to start my game to watch if everything is working, because Armory has some problems with animations. Also I need to push down my animations in the non-linear animations editor. After it is stored in the editor I rename it. The last step is to import my second animation but without the character. Make sure that is on your idle or run animation. Unfortunately we can't start with an attack animation. Now for this tutorial I use a sword object as a weapon. You can use any object. I place my weapon somewhere under the ground. Now here is a important step. You need to rotate your object up. If your weapon is rotated false, then the player will hold your weapon upside down. Here I set the object origin to the sword handle. Our player will hold it on the object origin. Now I set a spawn point in my character's hand. At this position our weapon will spawn.
I want my weapon to be attached on my right hand. In edit mode we can get the bone name that we will need later. We set the blender cursor to our hand object. Now on the object settings under relations we can parent it to an object. For the object we choose our skeleton or armature. Under the type we select bone type and search for the bone. For me it is the right hand. And now we set the hand position to the blender cursor. Now we add an O trait for our weapon. Split the viewport and change to the known editor. Also create a no tree. Now we are starting with the magic. Add A on init node. Also add a set location node. We want our weapon to be in the right position. In our case to the hand object that we set up earlier. As the location we use get location and set it to the hand. After the location node we connect it from there to the parent node. That means that it will goes first to the position and then afterwards it will parent it. For the first object we set the child and the second will be the parent. If we now play our game then you will see the results. You can see that the sword is rotated false. This can be fixed quick. Just rotate your sword 90 degree on the Z axis and play again. If you are not satisfied with the result like me then just change the location a bit. Now to see that it works also with other animations together you can also follow this step but it is not necessary. 
we just play another animation after a key is pressed. On key 1 it should play the slash animation and later on key 2 it should play the run animation again. You can see that it will stay at the right position. I really hope you liked it. If you need help then leave a comment. Thank you for watching have a nice day.